free science lessons, food tests, food tests. There are some clever ways to identify what type of food molecule a sample contains. For each of the tests, you need to prepare a food sample. It's the same each time though. Here's what you would do. Get a piece of food and break it up using a pestle and mortar. Transfer the ground up food to a beaker and add some distilled water. Give the mixture a good stir with a glass rod to dissolve some of the food. Filter the solution using a funnel, lined with filter paper to get rid of the solid bits of food. Use the Benedict's test to test for sugars. Sugars are found in all sorts of foods such as biscuits, cereal and bread. There are two types of sugars, non-reducing and reducing. You can test for reducing sugars in foods using the Benedict's test. Prepare a food sample and transfer 5 cm cube to a test tube. Prepare a water bath so that it's set to 75 degrees Celsius. Add some Bendix solution to the test tube using a pipette. Place the test tube in the water bath using a test tube holder and leave it in there for 5 minutes. Make sure the test tube is pointing away from you. If the food sample contains a reducing sugar, the solution in the test tube will change from the normal blue colour to green, yellow or brick red. It depends on how much sugar is in the food. Use iodine solution to test starch. You can also check food samples for the presence of starch. Foods like pasta, rice and potatoes contain a lot of starch. Here's how to do the test. Make a food sample and transfer 5 cm cube of your sample to a test tube. Then add a few drops of iodine solution and gently shake the tube to mix the contents. If the sample contains starch, the colour of the solution will change from brownie orange to black or blue black. Use the Biorad test to test for properties. You can use the Biorad test to see if a type of food contains protein. Meat and cheese are protein rich and good foods to use in this test. Here's how it's done. Prepare a sample of your food and transfer 2cm cube of your sample to a test tube. Add 2 cm cube of Biorat solution to the sample and mix the contents of the tube by gently shaking it. If the food sample contains protein, the solution will change from blue to purple. If no protein is present, the solution will stay blue. Use the Sudan 3 test to test for lipids. Lipids are found in foods such as olive oil, margarine and milk. You can test for the presence of lipids in the food using Sudan 3 stain solution. Here's how it's done. Prepare a sample of the food you're testing. Transfer about 5 cm cubed into a test tube.
Use a pipette to add three drops of Sudan 3 stain solution to the test tube and gently shake the tube. Sudan 3 stain solution stains lipids. If the sample contains lipids, the mixture will separate out into two layers. The top layer will be bright red. If no lipids are present, no separate red layer will form at the top of the liquid. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like and share.